Hello everyone, I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. It's always hollow in your heart. Yeah, I know. And on Tumblr. The last one we did was Haunted Hotel. We started a new one of those. And we beat this. Let me see. We did! We beat this game. Okay, so this is just the bonus game. So we have to go to extras. Ooh, let's see what we got. Voodoo dolls. Oh, we did not collect all the voodoo dolls. Oh, they have little things. Let's see if any of them are right. Werewolf. They are a terrifying creature that's half human and half wolf. They succumb to their nature and can't control themselves. They have glowing eyes, large claws, and fangs. Correct. Mummy. A mummy is a body put through special chemical treatment and embalmed. As a result, the process of tissue disintegration stops or slows down. That is a very silly doll. Look at his mouth. It's all wrinkly. He looks like a weird frog. We banished Walter. That's right. There's a zombie. I don't know why you'd need a zombie voodoo doll. Why is there a boot with it? Wait, what was with the mummy? Bandages. That makes sense. And he had a little werewolf doll. Why is there a boot with the mummy or zombie? Creatures that are dead but behave like the living. They look like people with the obvi but with obvious signs of rotting flesh. They're always hungry and feed on human brains. Some boots. <laughs> RV! RV was a jerk. RV was a friend and servant of the Headless Horseman for many years. Their evil nature helped to devise, a, devise devious plans. He was the villain of the last game. No, the first game. Mothman! <laughs> it's a large creature with a body similar to that of a human. It has a wingspan of more than two meters. It has legs but no arms. He has arms right there! Witnesses claim that this creature has some sort of hip hypnotic influence. Oh, for heaven's sakes. What is this one? Oh, uh, La Llorona. La Llorona? Yeah, La Llorona. She's creepy. A ghostly woman crying for her children. Her name translates to crying woman. La Llorona is often portrayed as a woman in white robe who is always crying. She winders at night through the deserted city streets or near ponds. That would be an interesting character in one of these games. I'm ignoring your comment about Mothman, by the way. The Dullahan, a headless rider who usually rides a black horse. He carries his own head under his arm. Wherever the Dullahan stops riding, a person will soon die. He's really afraid of gold, and even the slight touch of it is enough to make him go away. Huh. That I never heard before. This horse is in another game. I recognize that. Or it's an actual statue somewhere and they took it and put it in another game. Um, there is a very interesting anime about the Headless Horseman, the Dullahan. And I forget, I think it's called like Durr or something. I'll put it in the thing. And the Headless Horseman is a motorcycle rider, which is pretty cool. Instead of having a horse. A yeti! Yetis are not that color. I guess all of those green things are supposed to be yetis in this game. This large mythical beast supposedly inhabits the snowy part of the Himalayas. It looks like a mix between a monkey and a man. It has white fur. That is obviously green with blue fur. He looks like a weird troll. Yeah, that's it. Durarurura. My brain doesn't like that word. And a vampire! A magical creature and predatory parasite that absorbs the power, energy, or life from their victims. Wow, that's a pretty good definition. They have fangs to bite the victim's neck and are often dressed in black. Their skin is pale and they're afraid of the sunlight. Actually, sunlight kills them. So. I guess, let's see, that's a mermaid we're missing. That looks like a lady with owls in her hair. Maybe that's a harpy? There's a witch. That kind of looks like- oh, I bet that's a fawn, because it's got cloven feet. We'll have to see if we can find those. Potion ingredients. A Shimmer's Eye, or Chimera's Eye. I really don't know if it's Shimmer or Chimera. You can try playing ping pong with it, just make sure its owner doesn't come for you. What?! <laughs> A toadstool. That's actually an extremely poisonous mushroom. Do not pick those if you see them. 
a multifunctional ingredient. If you use it correctly, you can make soup or a useful potion. Do not make soup with this mushroom. Just don't mess it up or you'll become a perfect fertilizer for this mushroom. A purple apple. I mean, you could make soup once, yeah. A delicacy for unicorns. It tastes a bit like blackberries. Oh, that would be cool. Ghoul's blood. Ghouls don't get their blood tested at hospitals, but it would be easier to get this ingredient if they did. Ah, yes, yes we did. I was being serious though. Do not make random food with mushrooms, unless you buy them at the grocery store. Take a flashlight if you're going after this ingredient and don't forget to put on your headphones so you don't hear the screeching. I mean, it's not that bad, heaven's sakes. Werewolf fur. More than one comb has broken trying to get this. Even with baby shampoo, werewolf hair can't be tamed. What? You can bathe a werewolf? That's a very weird thing. Frog legs! That frog leg looks like it's made out of apples. Weird. They're not pleasant looking, but they say they look better in a soup. We don't recommend preparing them on your own or your lunch will be ruined. Use magic instead. Dude, frog legs are good. You're not allowed to eat the legs off of um, anthropomorphic frogs. Just actual real frogs. Several months of training, a short field survey, and a large gun are what you'll need to hunt for this precious hoof. It, it's a hoof. You can just get it from anything that's a hoof, has a hoof. Poisonous glands? Have you ever milked a snake? It's like Russian roulette with the revolver moving and twisting in your hands. Not if you're good at it, and you should leave that to the professionals as well. Also, that's something that people actually do in real life as a job. It helps to make anti-venom. Here's all the... Oh, that's from the, the opening. I forgot about that scene. I'm like, what is that from? Achievements. Look at all the achievements. The achievements in, the achievements in these games are kind of silly because some of them are sort of normal, but some of them... Is this one of the ones? Okay, it's like this one. Learn more about your uncle. You have to do that in the game. Or use a skeleton hand. You have to do that in the game. If you don't do it, you can't beat the game. That doesn't make sense as an achievement. An achievement should be something that you could do, but you don't have to. Here's all the music. Let's be suspenseful. Why not? Aw, I didn't stay. Here's the wallpapers. That is the vampire aunt and the vampire uncle. And a werewolf. I don't remember that. I remember that. That was the dumb witch. There's the little girls in the really cool costumes. Oh, I remember that one, yeah. Ah, this must be from the next part because I don't remember him at all. Or him. All right, we'll stop there. Bonus chapter, coffin. What? Hair. You want to purchase this item. What? We're dressing a mummy with the stuff we found? This is weird. Yeah, the, the actually the the characterization in this was pretty good. I'm just confused why this is a mini game. Who dressed this poor dude? In what universe would anyone want to be buried in this outfit? Alright, the <laughs> death parrot. <laughs> okay, we do not need to play the mini games. We're good. Alright, so let's do the bonus chapter now and see what happens.
Trick or treat! That kid came in your house. That's a little weird. Ah! A box of candy would be fantastic. Why on earth did you let the kid in your house, though? Yes, I got that, Erdite. Thank you. I've gone almost three months without blood already. The third month is the most difficult one for any teetotaler vampire. If I taste blood again, my thirst will be impossible to satisfy. Rosetta's potions help me a bit, but not much. I'm still hungry, Maria. Restore humanity, give to good people. I mean, I guess they could. The latch broke. That's not a latch. Forked bottle. Why do we not have Halloween candy ready for Halloween? Especially if we were actually going to have people trick-or-treating at our house. Okay. And why is our house so bizarre? Okay. The handle is long gone, but there might be something helpful inside. This is your house! Shouldn't you know how to get things in your house? Yes, I agree. A vampire should definitely be ready for Halloween. Wow, that's a lot of candy! Ooh, that looks like good candy, too. Cola and bubblegum. Cola? That's a cola. Wait. Oh, cola and bubblegum together. That, I don't think, would be good eats. Orange and cola. That seems more reasonable. Cream and raspberry. Apple and pineapple. Here we go. Eyeball candies are the best, by the way. Mango and passion fruit. There is some weird combinations in this pile. Cherry coconut does not sound good, for example. Mango, oh, mango and passion fruit. That might be good. Strawberry and blueberry. There we go. Cupcake, strawberry and banana. That's a pretty normal one. Cherry chocolate, also pretty normal. Donut Donut. Donut Donut is the best flavor. Donuts in video games always look so good. Pear and grape. Somehow I think I've seen pear and grape before. Oh, you can do um, wine-soaked grapes or uh, pears. They're really good. Guava banana? Maybe. Cotton candy pear does not sound good. Kiwi banana. Pumpkin cinnamon. That's kind of a staple. Wow. You shouldn't give out loose candy to kids. The parents won't appreciate it. Also, how are you going to carry all the candy, kid? Thanks. What? Hi. Don't forget to come over and get your potions. Drinking them regularly will stop your blood thirst. See you soon. Okay. Picture for here. I guess I'm just going. Yes, I think we did just get triggered seeing a kid in a vampire costume. Did someone steal my tire? Alright, here's one. Who on earth locks their glove compartment? Like, if someone's gonna break into your car, they're gonna break into your glove compartment. It's not that hard. They're, like, made of plastic. Why is my tire behind a grate? Cthulhu! Or an illithid, I guess. Could be either one. 
a spider. Oh, that's adorable. I have a spider. Actually, I have three different spiders for my Halloween decorations. Wick. I should probably take my Halloween decorations down. I have a wick. I have a lock pick. Halloween has been, as far as you're concerned, all year. It does not have to last into November. Oh, I've got a broken lighter. Broken and out of fuel. Well, I can put the wick in. Okay. Can I use the lock pick to open this drawer? No. I don't mind Christmas. I just wish that it didn't start in June. That That's the problem I have with Christmas. Like, dude, I might have said this last time, but... I was at the store a couple weeks before Halloween and they had Easter candy out. That's not okay. All right, what am I missing over here? Yeah, no, Easter candy. Honest to goodness, Easter eggs. The um, chocolate eggs with a different cream filling. Yeah. And my poor dyslexic and non-functional normal brain here has saw it and went it's not time for easter yet and then i forgot what time it was i was thinking it's just valentine's day no where are we wait it's halloween why is there easter candy out so yeah don't do that my 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 brains can't handle that kind of ridiculousness oh nice to just destroy the rose bush Oh look, dirt. Something must be buried here. But what can I dig with? <laughs> I know, you don't like roses because they used to stab you. That's reasonable. Ew, that was an eyeball-y noise. Rosetta's house. Huh? Am I having visions or is someone really there? I'll look for a key. Some fire would melt this wax away. Oh, I need tape for that. Where? House? Oh! Holy crow, you're right! Look at this! There was the stairs up there and there was some kind of, um, like a wall, uh, tapestry or something like that. And then there was a big hole in the wall here. You're right! They just changed what was in the scene. Buy your dream house in the Scratchtown suburbs. Scratchtown's a really weird name for some place. Enjoy a secluded cottage in the woods near the lake. Found a note. Okay. Broken clock. I can't go in the door up there. I didn't do it. That was weird. Fuel. Oh, I can put that in the later. That's not how you fill Zippo lighters. That would end poorly for everyone. Hmm. A nine? Well, a handkerchief is to wipe up whatever this is. Probably pick up the cup too, but that's fine. Part of the recipe is missing. Hammer. Huh. Well, there's part of the clock. I need the hands though. I assume. Yep. Why do I need a hammer? I assume this is this. Here? Why would you have. The code for your safe sitting next to your safe. Select and drag the lock elements to re reveal a number of dots shown in the clue. Do they have to be next to each other or do they just have to be like... 
Oh, they don't have to be. I was trying to make this pattern. <laughs> I knew that. All right, so we have three and three. That's easy. Mm -hmm. yep. Three, two. There we go. Another nine. Or a six. Or two nines. Or two sixes. I use this to open the drawer. No. Hammer. That's not a good idea. I have, in fact, used a screwdriver with a plastic handle as a chisel before, and I broke part of the plastic off, and it was very shrapnel. So maybe don't do that. All right. Now we have a wind-up key, two number. Oh, wait, do the numbers go in here? Okay. Still need hands, though. What's the wind-up key for? Oh, it's for the spider! Wait, what? Where are we going, spider? We're going on an adventure. Oh no, it's water. Let's go around. There's a bridge. Where the bridge? Oh, I still can't go that way. There's a hole. No, we're not trying to get in the hole. I assume we're trying to get... I found a skull? Why? Why did the spider find the skull for me? Oh, uh, it's to scoop up the dirt. Why are these things buried in the garden? Okay, now we have a clock face. Huh, that's weird. Imagine having a cabinet where if you put stuff back where it was supposed to be, it would just stay open all the time. It was a trap. How did you remember me? Mara, your beloved delusion. Or has human life completely erased your memory? I've come to tell you that the clan will forgive your abdication and gladly take you back so we can live happily together <coughs> again. It wasn't a request, Mara. It's for your own good. Soon your bloodthirst will be unquenchable. And you'll embrace your life with me again. Goodbye. For now. He infected you again, and you don't have much time. You need a cure to stop vampirism. I know an illusionist who might help. He doesn't live far. Take my car and hurry. I need a rest after this shock. Here, take this. You might need it. Sure. Um, so, multiple questions. Didn't we kill that vampire in the last game? What happened to him? I forget. Something happened to him. A magical wire cutters of Walter. Apparently I'm wrong. We will find out when I post this on YouTube because that's, I'm not going to look before then. So this is her car. For some reason, she took the tire off and locked it behind a gate. Oh, okay, fine. I'm wrong. So this is just a non-related set of vampires who are being evil in the same town. This town has a lot of issues. Uh, is there anything else in here? Nope. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. He looked pretty much exactly the same. You should probably get a new cord for that. We're here live at the Halloween fair. An hour ago, it was full of people, but now our crew and I are the only people here. Okay. 
item list. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, I'm just supposed to fix the picture. I'm not actually supposed to. We received reports that a real ghost began wreaking havoc, but a well-known local named Old Maggie fought it back. What? <laughs> Walter is a terrible name for a vampire. Where? There's a ghost. What did she hit it with? Her purse, I bet. <laughs> The police suspect one Pierre Sullivan, who was seen with the ghost. Their current whereabouts are unknown. Please call 777-1313 and 311-0202 if you see them. Neither of those are phone numbers. All right. He, Pierre, was our uncle. Walter was the vampire. Odd Punk is, in fact, correct. Why did we have to let the TV play in order to pick up the cloth that was on top of it and get the recipe? That's dumb. All right. <clears throat> I don't know. You're gifted, I guess. All right, so the yellow one. Plus, or times, the pink one. Plus the powder, whatever it is. Equals acid to get the tire out of the little cubby hole. I don't think I'd want to try to bring my tire through there if that acid worked that fast, but. Wait, where'd the tire go? Oh, oh, it's with the nuts. Okay. Isn't that the ghost I saw in the news? The ghost you saw in the news looked like a sheet. So no, it is not. I can chop them quickly with the right tool, except I need to sharpen it first. Which, is that a whetstone? Yep. Some of the tiles are missing. Some letters are missing. I should sneak through this window, but it's too high. Ooh, an evil gargoyle. It's a pupper! It's a mad pupper. Why are you mad, Mr. Pupper? Oh, good! Look, look, we're gonna make a ladder. I'm gonna use string? Yep. Okay. All right, so let me sharpen the axe. It's really hard to sharpen things, by the way, and it takes a long time. Let's get the rungs for the ladder, I assume. Yep. The fire could spread, I'd better put it out. That actually makes sense. Good on you. This does not look like a sturdy ladder. I mean, I might be wrong. At least it looks like the rungs are attached rather well. Come on, move. I need to click there, thank you. Greetings, I'm Pierre. Help me to defeat the ghost and I'll tell you about the medicine you seek. Oh, this is how it ties in with the normal story. That's our Uncle Pierre and we are going, well, not our uncle, our uncle from the last game. And he is going to help this vampire person turn back into a human. No, stop that. Maybe that? Yes. 
Uh, okay. If I still had my lockpick, it would be easy. But for some reason, I left it back at the house. We should stay a vampire. I mean, it sounds like a lot of work, to be honest. And you would have to, like, be around people all the time. Wait, what do I need that for? Oh, it's a ghost catcher. Okay, fill the board with more green tokens than... Oh, boy, I'm sort of... I have succeeded at this game in the past. Yeah, normally when I play this game against the computer, they beat my butt multiple times. Okay, that was super easy. I don't mind that game, I'm just- the computer is usually way better at it than I am. Well done! Thanks! You must be Mara. Rosetta called me to tell me you'd come. I I'm sorry, but I don't have the medicine you're looking for. But I know a girl named Bella who recovered from vampirism. She works at the circus. You can visit her there. Here, take this ring with my thanks. Isn't it your circus? Pretty sure it's your circus. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Collection is missing one book. Okay. I have... I had lockpicks already in this game. And I left them at the house, and now I need them again. That happened an awful lot in the last game. A dog bone inside the sign for some reason. The oh boy. Balloons. Aw. Oh good, I can pop them. Pop the balloons. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. Bloop. Yay, I did it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's the little things. Ooh, do I get the popcorn? There aren't a lot of numbers, but there's still too many combinations. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Um, I need to catch hold of this ring to pull it down. That must be what the fishing rod is for. I think it would be tricky to actually land that shot, but oh boy, creepy dolls. Aw, oh, they aren't even that creepy. All right, let's see. Two pink shoes, two canes, two bowler hats, two red bows, two straw hats, and two rainbow wigs. That's a bowler hat. Sheesh. That's a red bow. I mean, this is more red, but still. Still a bowler hat. A horse emblem. Hmm. Okay, we need something to get the water. I don't- wait, I didn't look at the- Look, it's a payphone! Because this doesn't actually take place in the period of time they think it does. Dear Pierre, I've been working hard at the circus and really need some rest. I'm going on vacation. If you need me, just call me. But only in case of emergency. Ciao, Bella. Well, that's disappointing. I bet I have a cell phone, though. 
Maybe as a vampire we don't have a cell phone. I don't know. I don't understand why there are payphones in these games when they take place in modern times. I really don't. Those are weird looking lockpicks. Wait, what was that? A code? Whatever those are. I could get lost easily without a map. Isn't it a basement? All right, what do we need a code for? Oh, this. What do we need a horse brush for? Yeah, well. There. And there. No, this. Move the parts of the disc to reveal the numbers shown in the note. Oh, 3110. Okay. I was close. Some oil and a brush will help me get rid of this rust. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing any of this. Apparently we need a horse brush to get rust off the popcorn machine. So. Always put out your fires when you're done camping, kids. Stair tiles. Okay. Arrange the gray tiles according to the clues in the yellow tiles. Select two tiles to swap them. Okay. So. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? Garlic steaks and bullets. Sounds like a weird country song. I like that they're actually not just having the oil pour on something and all the less rust disappears. This is the second magnet we've had in this game. This game is very short. This is the bonus episode we've been playing for, well, okay, we've been playing for a while, but the game part hasn't been going on that long. And we've already had two magnets. Call and I'll be there in no time, Bella. Okay. Do I dial the whole number or just the part that's not crossed out? Nope, I guess the whole number. Who are you and what do you want with me? Wait, I recognize your smell. You're a vampire. I even know your clan. But your heart doesn't belong to it. Was she vacationing in the ceiling? I was a vampire too. But the ancient vampire cured me. He was killed for believing that vampirism is a curse rather than a blessing. I don't know. I guess maybe the ceiling of a circus would be he more interesting. He can return every Halloween Eve to cure those who wish it. So you're in luck. You can get to his crypt through the secret passage in Pierre's house. Didn't Pierre know that? Be careful. Your clan will try to stop you. I should prepare for the show, but take this map to help you find your way. Thank you, weird ceiling lady. Okay, I think we're done here. Here we go into the creepy basement. Guard the entrance to the cemetery. Let no one go. They look pleasant. Candy! Oh, there's a birdie guarding the candy. I still say I can be way louder than this game is giving me credit for. Look, another broken flashlight, everyone. Something sharp will quickly cut this grass. Oh, wait, I can make the... Here. I guess I still need stuff to throw. 
Broken flashlight. Let's see, we need a light bulb and a battery. <gasps> Who knew? It's just getting lazy, guys. I want to eat the candy. I still have some Halloween candy. Halloween Fair. Dillon Square from 1700 until midnight. I'll go there in the evening. It's evening now. The moon is up. That is a very stuck wheelbarrow. Okay, that's too high up. Oh, I bet I have to shoot it off with that. Okay. They're afraid of the light. Okay, now, a UV light bulb. That might actually hurt a vampire. I'm not entirely sure what part of sunlight it is that hurts vampires. I know it's not just regular light. Okay, now what do I do? There you go. See, because I think that might have some... What am I supposed to... I need some leverage. That's great. What am I supposed to be doing, though? I need something sharp. I need a light bulb and a battery. I need a stone of some sort. I need something loud to scare the crow. I need who knows what to get that out of the ditch. And I need the slingshot to get that. Oh. That is a really big stone to be flinging with a slingshot. You could very hurt someone with a stone that big. <laughs> what is that? It's a noisemaker. Seriously, I can be noisier than one of these noisemakers. Yay, candy! And cupcakes. Oh, man. Those look like Reese's peanut butter cups on the bottom and then like some kind of um, maybe ice cream or frosting and then caramel drizzles on top. I am all for that. What was it, vampires? It was aliens. Aliens with a parasite that made them vampires. Okay, I'm going to stay out of that one. Baseball hat. Drink. Pumpkin garland. Oh, that's not a garland. There we go. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to- you guys can argue about it in the comments. Where's the monkey? Monkey! I don't actually like scary games, so I don't watch any of them. Um, this is as scary a game as I kind of get to. What are you guys talking about? Vampire. Vampire! Where's the kite? Oh, it's a vamp bat kite. Alright, let's see. There's the bottom of the caramel apple. Where do I get it caramelized? Ooh, over here. Yeah, I'm right. That totally was caramel topping. That looks so good. Fireworks! Um, there's a candle right there. Why can't I use that to light the stuff? That wasn't my best. Oh, that's her broom. Okay, sorry. Okay, until dawn I've heard of. He doesn't have any arms. Oh, there's candles right there. I could have just used the candles. Especially if I, like, dropped one in, you know? Skeleton. What on earth is this? A staff. that to cut the grass or move the wheelbarrow? Dude, you're gonna break that really cool staff. The stage. This was one of the scenes in, um, in the last game too, except this one, it was framed differently. This is definitely the same place though. Well, that ain't good. Bill should probably shut the power off. I think something magnetic could help me here. Like a magnet? That was weird. There's no light bulb in there either. 
That would be a wrench. A bolt like that uses a wrench. Bucket. And is that a UV light bulb just sitting on the stage? All right. Oh, I have to charge the battery again. This looks old. Oh, if only I had an axe. Interesting. What's inside the briefcase? If only I had a long staff or a screwdriver. <sighs> I wouldn't mind these games half as much as they didn't like keep taking stuff away from me that I needed like in the next scene. Very irritating. Well, that was very effective. See, that's another one. Neutralize the vampires. You have to. That's not an achievement. That's getting through the game. Something can pry this amulet out in no time. Like a sickle. Is that more dirt I have to dig up? More dirt. Ooh, can I use the bucket? Nope, can't use the bucket. Even more dirt. Can I use the bucket? No, could I use my hands? Nope. All right, what's up here? I can saw this twig off. Okay. Why? That bowl sitting there isn't important, huh? What's this? I can collect some of this liquid through a metal tap. Oh, okay. I don't get what the bowl is for. What is that? Feathers. Ah, I'm making a feather duster. Here lies ancient evil. Do not approach. That's a good warning. Okay, those feathers would not be able to move that dirt. That dirt would be way too heavy. Look, they're trying to do, like, a dance move and they're failing miserably. Hey, Zicky, what's up? Alright, do I actually need them to touch the ones on the end? Correctly arrange the figurines. There must be space between their hands. Oh! I was trying to do the exact opposite. Oh, yeah. I kind of don't think so. Oh, there has to be a certain amount of space between their hands. Um, I have huh. I... No, unfortunately, we're not supposed to have them hold hands. We're supposed to have them summon little light bulbs. Here we go. Because that's what I was trying to do at first. I was trying to get them all to hold hands. And that was incorrect. There was a hose in that grave for some reason. Different. Oh, I was already over there. Okay. So now we plug the hose into the fire. Stop it. There. And luckily the briefcase floats instead of sinking. Even though it's got a giant wrench <laughs> Kumbaya Demon Lords Kumbaya? Really? You're a goofball. Alright, wrench. I don't know why we need to open this. Let's find out. There's an awl in there. Sure, why not? Why do I need an awl? Is that for this? No. This town does have really good Halloween decorations. I've got to say. Yeah, that they can be used for stabbing things or poking things. Oh. Super useful. Or prying things. I forgot about prying things. Why can't I use this bucket to scoop up the dirt? Really irritating. Bone flour? Are we going to make bread? Uh-oh. Mara, 
I know how to raise the ancient vampire. Let's go. Okay. <gasps> oh no. You leave me no choice, Mara. I will stop you from becoming a human again. He would be a perfect sacrifice. <laughs> Apparently, our vampire boyfriend is a jerk. In case of vampire attack, first lift the victim's head. You'll need the following for soul regeneration. Water, cemetery grass, and bone flour. Okay. Okay, I can't pull the horn down on my own. Okay. Only I had a bucket full of dirt. Alright, let's see what I can do. Wait. I need blood and dirt and a bowl, apparently. And I don't know what I'm doing with you. You just do you, I guess. Syringe. Do I have to take blood out of him? Oh no, I bet that's for the sap. Still don't have anything to get rid of the dirt. The sickle needs to be sharpened. There's the grass I need, but there isn't anything else here. Oh, I can hammer the... No? Really? Can I fill up the bucket with water? Fine, game. You took all away the things that I needed to do all this stuff with. Where am I supposed to be? Maybe I do need to stick some of his blood. Nope, oh, guess not. Okay. Oh, okay. Ew! Need to gather all the ingredients. Well, I'd love to. Are I? I don't know. I give up. All right, let's go break a hole in the stage. I'm. I am a vampire. I'm trying to become an unvampire. Oh, it looks like the props department is underneath. Whoa! What is this? Oh, I have to find the. Wait, what just happened? That was weird. Oh, okay, I just have to point at stuff. I thought I had to match the stuff. Skeleton. Harlequin outfit. More skeletons. Pirate hat. There's a lot of plastic spiders. Where is this? Oh, there it is. Very, very... <laughs> a very merry unvampire to you. Wait, why do I need a coin? Oh, as a screwdriver. Jeez Louise. I had a screwdriver. I had a screwdriver right before I got over here. It didn't break or anything. There's a grinding wheel and a bottle of water behind the vent. That doesn't go anywhere. It's not even a real vent. It's just a hole. Unless, I guess, it's coming from up there. But that's just a little stone wall. I don't know why I'd do that. All right, now we cut the cemetery grass. Actually, kind of looks like mint. Why do we need a hammer? All right, so there's a cemetery grass. We need water. I actually forget what we needed. Bone flour. Wait, I thought. Hey did that? That wasn't me. I thought we needed blood in there. Am I crazy? Yep, I'm crazy. It's all good. We're just gonna inject him with that. Through his shirt. Thank you! Quickly now, wake the ancient vampire! It's your only chance! Here's what you'll need. I'll try and find help. Good luck! 
Wow, that is some backpack. A spoon, an eyedropper. And what is this? A metal tap. Oh, that's for the... <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's for this. Now to drive it in. Okay. That's not really how that works, but sure, why not? Okay. We need some of this. That was a very unfortunate sound effect. Here's the other thing we needed. A spoonful of dirt. Well, I know where we can get dirt. That's it? Okay. Wasn't that supposed to summon him? Are you just supposed to point this at you? Oh, what is this nonsense? Move the green tile along the field to color all the tiles. Select an arrow to move in the tile move the tile in that direction. You can't move over the same tile twice. Use the obstacles to your advantage. Okay. Ta-da! Banished from your clan for attempting the voiding ritual, Lucian. I know why you're here. You're free of your burden. Now I must go. You're not the only one who needs my help tonight. I'm so happy that you'll stay human. Mara, let's go home and celebrate Halloween. So the ancient vampire is the one that we are addressing in the mini game section. Oh, here's this background again. I really like that background. The end. I completed the game. Hang on. Yeah, this is totally Mr. Dude here. I recognize the scarf. What is this nonsense? Oh my gosh. No. Alright, wait, we have to find- I think we found all the voodoo dolls, did we? Aw, oh, we missed one. Dang. Let's see, mermaid. It's widely believed that mermaids are girls that live at the bottom of a river or sea. They have fish tails instead of legs. I guess, sure, why not? <laughs> okay, I promise. A wood spirit. Master of the forest, this giant creature looks like a tree, but is aware and intelligent. It's normally harmless, but if made angry, they'll turn into a predator. I love the little owls in its hat. That's adorable. We saw that one. We saw her. Her witch. A woman that not only practices magic, but also possesses magical abilities and knowledge. They have certain well-known attributes. Which are what? Well, this one looks like it only has one arm. Bit weird. And this is a fawn. Okay. Fawns are forest spirits and are the patrons of shepherds and fishermen. They like to have fun, dance, and play musical instruments and seduce women. All right. I guess that's all of those. There wasn't anything else of any. Oh, this is the concept art. The concept for the art for this game does not look like concept art. It looks like they just put a filter over the regular art for the game. Where was the wallpapers? That's what I was looking for. Okay, the vampires are different. All the vampires in this game look the same. I don't think they have actual concept art either. I don't remember seeing him. Yeah, he's much more suave than the other... That guy wasn't in this game. Oh yeah, he was. He was up in like a house or something. I forgot about that. That I don't recognize. 
I don't recognize him either. That's the lady we've saved. There's Pierre again. Pierre looks better in his hat. Okay, well, that was fun. Uh, oh, I can make the crows fly away. Oh, well. Oh, no, there they go. Um, so that was Halloween Chronicles. The Cursed Family. And it was lots of silly business. I, I am getting to the point where these particular games, Halloween is now over. Yes, there's actually one more, but we're going to save that for next year. These particular games have an issue that kind of drives me nuts, which is they give you stuff and then you can't have it anymore. And then you need it in the next scene. But rather than having you like figure out a different way to do it, like if you use a, if you need a screwdriver, you can use a coin or something like that. Oftentimes, these particular series will give you the same item again, like the magnet or an awl. There was two awls in the earlier part of the game. It's like, why couldn't I have just kept the magnet? It's not like you use a magnet once and it gets used up. <laughs> it stays a magnet forever. And that's slightly irritating but this series was definitely fun there's one more after this which is i think behind the door but since halloween is actually over now we'll save that one till next year and maybe they'll come out with another one again next year because they have for the last four years i think this one is the one from 2020 and the one we didn't quite get to was the one from this year from this october so maybe they'll come out with another one next October. We can do two more. We are going to do more of the Haunted Hotel because we started that one. Oh, I don't think I've played that one. I'll have to look that one up. I will put it on my list. But yeah, we started the Haunted Hotel 6, I think. And where there are no ghosts. Yeah, this one might have a ghost. This one, for some reason, even though it's taking place in either England or New England, I still can't figure it out. It has an ancient Egyptian theme to the monster, which is a little weird, but I actually love Egyptian stuff. So kind of cool. It just doesn't make a lot of sense, but that might be a ghost. He might actually be ghost like, but he might just be a monster too. If he's a mummy, that doesn't count as a ghost. So we've still get to actually find a ghost in the haunted hotel. All right. So I guess we will be done for today. I am fate touched and I will see you guys later. Bye.